Welcome to the fourth lecture of the Village of Balkh in the Expanse of History. Today we will discuss about the spread of Buddhism in Afghanistan. Before the spread of Buddhism in Afghanistan, it underwent several transformations and divisions. The most important center of Buddhist sect Mahayana is in present-day Pakistan. The University of Taxila has been known as a major center uh, for the study and distribution of Buddhist works uh, for centuries. According to uh, Sarvasta Veda, Buddhist source sources, Sutra of Extensive Sermons, uh, Trapusa and Bahalika, uh, or Tapusa and Bahalika, two brothers of the Balkh uh, merchant, were among the first to convert to uh, Buddhism and built a temple in their hometown, uh, hometown of Balkh. Uh, Balhika later became a monk uh, and uh, built a monastery uh, near his hometown of Balkh, uh, near present-day mazar sharif He brought with him eight Buddha hairs and built a dome uh, uh, to hold them. The Chinese uh, chronicler and uh, pilgrim uh, Hussan Tsang uh, writes about the Nava Vihara or Naubahar temple that the two Balkhi brothers, Tapus and Bahlika, were among the first Buddhist disciples to have eight strands of hair uh, eight weeks after reaching uh, the enlightenment and receiving the truth. The two Balkhi brothers who traveled uh, in the Indian subcontinent for business uh, brought the eight strands of hair to Balkh after swearing commitment to the Buddha. Balhika, the uh, older brother, built a stupa in his honor in Balkh. According to Buddhism ancient text uh, Sarvastaveda, this event must have taken place around 537 BC, which uh, corresponds to Husun Tsang representation of the event. This shrine, stupa, is in the temple of uh, Naubahar in Balkh. Shortly afterwards, one of the Theravada's elders, uh, Sambuta Sanavasi, found followers who tried to establish their customs in Kapisa, but failed, and Mahasanga uh, Sangika took root as the main school of Buddhism in Afghanistan. Eventually, five... <coughs> Eventually, five separate schools split from uh, Mahasangika. Uh, the main school in Afghanistan was uh, Lokotaravada, which was later established in Bamiyan Valley in the Hindu Kush mountains between the 3rd and 5th centuries AD. The followers of this school erected the largest statue of Buddha to prove their claim to the transcendent uh, and uh, superhuman nature of the Buddha. In 2001, the Taliban completely destroyed the statue. In 330 BC, Alexander the Great of uh, Macedonia conquered an, uh, large, a large part of the uh, Achaemenid Empire, including Bakhtar and Gandhara. He was tolerant of the religious customs of these areas, uh, that is because it seems that he was primarily interested in military conquest. His successors found, uh, founded uh, the Seleucids dynasty. In 317 uh, BC, the Mauryan dynasty of India took Gandhara from the Seleucids. Hence, in this uh, short period, uh, this religion came under Greek influence only superficially. Ashoka, the emperor of uh, Maurya, 237-232 BC, was interested in uh, Theravada Buddhism. At the end of his reign, uh, he sent a delegation to Gandhara under the uh, patronages of the Maharakita. The delegation built the Ashoka pillars in the south Kandahar with Buddhist uh, edicts uh, uh, written on them. Through this delegation, the presence of Theravada was granted in Afghanistan. Towards the end of Ashoka's reign, uh, after the Third Council of Buddhism, the Sarvastaveda school of uh, Hinayana split from the Theravada. After Ashoka's death, his son uh, Jaloka popular, uh, popularized uh, Sarvastaveda in Kashmir. In 239 BC, the local Greek nobles of the Bactria revolted against uh, Seleucid's rule and uh, gained their independence. In the following year, they liberated uh, Sogd and uh, Kashmir from Seleucid rule and established the Greek Bactrian kingdom. Benefiting the situation, uh, the Kashmiris monks uh, uh, quickly spread the Sarvastaveda Hinayana school in Bactria. In 197 BC, the Greek Bactrian took Gandhara from the Mauryan and subsequently the Sarvastaveda school reached southern Afghanistan. As a result of the cultural interaction between Greek and Indian culture, the Greek style had a profound effect on Buddhist art, especially in the embodiment uh, of the human form and in the decoration of the clothing. Although Theravada never had power in the territory of the Greek Bactrian kingdom, one of the kings of this dynasty, Menander in uh, Pali Melinda 155-130 BC, due to the influence of an Indian monk named uh, Nagasena converted to the Theravada faith. The king asked the master many questions. Their conversation became known as the questions of Melinda. 
Shortly afterwards, the Greek Bactrian government established relations uh, with uh, Sri Lanka and sent a delegation of monks to attend the cons uh, consecration of a Buddhist uh, temple built uh, by order of King uh, Dutagamani. Uh, as a result of these cultural ties, Greek Bactrian monks orally quoted the questions of Melinda in Sri Lanka. Later, these questions were added to the Theravada school in the form of religious laws. It is evident that uh, at that time, uh, the relations of the Buddhists in Afghanistan stretched uh, to distant places such as Sri Lanka and the continuation of this relationship uh, was so great that it influenced the religious texts of the Buddhists uh, in that region. After settling in the north of uh, the country, each Yujdi uh, uh, tribe was ruled by their own chief. Eventually, the Kushan rulers were able to subjugate the uh, chiefs of other tribes and thus the Kushan state uh, was established in the land of Ariana. The first powerful king of Kushan, Kujwala uh, Kafisis, uh, was soon after Vema Kafisis, uh, uh, Katfisis uh, conquered northern India and the Silk Road opened uh, from north to south around 92 AD. The most powerful king of the Kushans is uh, Kanishka, who reigned between 120 and 160 AD. So uh, this was uh, today's lecture uh, and uh, it ends here. Until the next lecture, uh, stay safe and stay connected with edX.